everybody. This is going to be a quick video to answer um, a lot of questions that I've gotten about how do I find my goddess and my god to align with. Um, you don't have to, but I know from experience I felt the need to um, align with a god and a goddess to enhance my magic and to uh, strengthen my practice. And one way that I recommend that you do that is just a simple meditation. Very simple, you can use a candle, you can use a stone. If you have a, just a special stone that you like to hold or whatever during your meditations, you can sit out in the sun, you can sit out in the moon, or just sit even in your car or in your bedroom or the living room or wherever. Close your eyes and just meditate and just ask the universe to tell you the name of your goddess and the name of your god that is meant for you to align with. Um, and a name will pop into your head. If it doesn't, that's okay. Then, um, after you do the meditation and that it doesn't happen, which is fine, then Google a particular aspect about a god or a goddess. Let's just say that you're a musician and you want to find a goddess or a god that have to deal with music. Then type in um, goddess of music or god of music. And they'll, I'm, I guarantee you're going to get a big list of um, goddesses and gods to, to have to do with music. Or let's just say that you're a police officer and you want um, a god or goddess in regards to police, do the same thing. Um, a few websites that I found that are very helpful when you want to research um, a goddess or a god, get your pens ready. Um, the first one is PaganNews.com. Again, PaganNews.com, very good website. It's got news, um, it's got, oh, it's so windy out here. Um, it's got news, it's got uh, books, it's got herbs, it's got runes, tarot, um, like the rune of the day, the tarot of the day. It's got the planetary aspects for that day. It's got god and goddesses, and all these little applications you can actually put into your MySpace and everything else. But anyway, you can also research and find out more about your god or goddess. And also, another good one is ancienthistory.about.com. Very good website as well, I'll say it again, ancienthistory.about.com. Well, and also you can just Google it and just go to wherever, you know. But you'll know when you find a god name or a goddess name that rings true for you, you'll know and that's, I mean, you'll know. You'll get a sense of peace about it. And um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's just that simple. It's just closing your eyes and asking, you just, you know, just asking the universe, please give me the name of my goddess or my god. And if you don't get one, that's okay. It will come in time. Um, you don't have to align with a particular god or goddess. You don't have to. But, um, you know, everyone's practice is different and everyone's purpose in this lifetime is different. And I'm eclectic, so I don't use just Egyptian gods and goddesses. Um, I tend to kind of, you know, pick from all different ones, so I kind of like that a lot. But, um, and, oh, in a lot of my videos, I always talk about um, having things ring true to you. I've got two minutes left because I want to make this kind of a shorter video. Real quick, um, what I'm talking about there is trusting your inner bell trusting your intuition, trusting your gut, what you already know, what your collective universal soul knows from all your previous lifetimes, for all the universal knowledge that you've built up, you know. Your intuition and your gut and your inner bell know. And if you listen to it, you'll know if something rings true. And when I say rings true, that means if you ring a bell that is in tune and it's a very well-kept bell, it'll have the most beautiful ring to it. But if a, if, if a bell's been damaged and not treated very well, um, it'll have a pretty harsh ring and a, a very harsh tone to it. And that's the same thing with your gut. It's, you know, you're in a situation and you're like, well, I'm just not thinking that's right, you know. Listen to your bell. Listen to your inner bell and go, you know, you know, I just don't think that's happening. Not, you know. But... When something is true and is right for you and your path, you'll know it and it'll ring true for you. And, you know, whatever it is will ping your bell and go ping. And it's the most beautiful sound and it's the most peaceful feeling when you get that sense of, okay, 
I got it. This is good. That's it. And, um, yeah, and so when you, anything, anything in your spiritual path, if it doesn't ring true, don't do it. Because you're giving your power away. And, you know, you have so much power. Everybody out there has so much power that the universal life force has out there for people to tap into. You just have to be willing to say, okay, I'm going to trust in my inner bell. I'm going to trust in my gut feeling and I'm going to do what's right for me and my path. Whether it's being pagan, whether it's being Christian, whether it's being Muslim, whether it's being Jewish, whether it's being Buddhist, whatever. If it rings true for you, that's what you need to do. So, with that said, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. And, um, yeah, I'm excited. This weekend, I will probably do another instructional how-to video. Probably pop it. And, because I know a lot of people like to do those. I've done them a few times and have had great success. So, anyway, I will talk to you guys later. And thanks for subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Leave some comments below. And five stars, don't forget. Love you guys. See you on the flip.